Hi class, tonight's lesson um, 7.2 has to do with exponential notation. Um, so we're talking about the powers of 10, which we touched upon in class today. So we're just going to start by looking at the number 1000. And let's do a name box for 1000. So if you remember for a name box, we're going to find many, many different ways of writing the number 1000. So what I have right here, that's standard notation. Oops, grab a color. Okay, so that's just the standard notation for 1000. And we can come up with all kinds of different ways to name it. I can say 1000 times 10. I can say 10 to the third power. 10 to the third power is exponential notation. I can say 3000 divided by 3. I can say 1 half of 2000. How about 500 plus 500? So these are all different ways that we could name the number 1000. So I'm going to click forward to the next slide so you can see what we're going to focus on. How do I write 10 million in exponential notation? Okay, so what I would simply do there is look at how many zeros do I have? So let's see here. If I focus on the zeros in 10 million, right there, and then add them up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that is going to be the same number as the exponent for um, the number 10 million written in exponential notation. Let's see what I have down here. It's exactly that. The number of zeros in the standard notation equals the exponent for powers of 10. So if I'm looking at that number right there, I'm going to, oops, my pen, there it is. I'm going to say 10, and we count it already. We have 7 to the seventh power. So that's how I would write 10 million in exponential notation. Let's skip to the next slide. So what is a power of 10? A power of 10 is a whole number that can be written using only 10s as factors. So it doesn't work with other numbers, but if you have um, a number that is a whole number and can be written using only 10s as factors, we call those, we can use them, we can create powers of 10. So if I say, for example, 10 to the fourth power, how would I write that in standard notation? Well, if you remember, this number right here, the exponent tells us that's going to equal the same number of zeros in our answer. So one, two, three, four. There we go. 10 to the fourth power equals 10,000. So if I have 10 to the sixth power, it's going to give me exactly six zeros, and we know that that's a million. And one more thing I wanted to remind you, just, just so that we understand what we are writing and what the, what the powers mean. So if I have right here, this one for example, 100,000, and I can write that as 10 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to the fifth power, to also remember that that means it's the same as saying 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. So just keeping that in mind that that's, that's actually what we're doing. Is we're taking this base right here and multiplying it by itself five times. And then coming over to this last slide, get rid of my pen for a second, and we can see that that's 10 billion. So let's take a look at how would I write 10 billion using standard notation? And that's what it looks like. So I know in class we were getting confused a little bit with what does standard mean? And um, some of you were writing, let's say if we had seven to the third power, uh, writing um, seven times seven times seven. But what we're really looking for is the final answer, what does that equal? So this is a standard notation. And if I look here, exponential notation shows the base is 10 and to the power of 10, right there. So 10 to the 10th power. 
And if we count up, get my pen back in action, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten zeros in ten billion, so ten to the tenth power. And then if I were to write that same number in number and word, and this is also one that gets a little bit fuzzy because there's also word form. And word form is completely 100% just writing the words out. Number and word form is a combination of the number and then the place value. So 10 billion. So it's, it's just an easier way of writing a really lengthy number without writing out all the zeros. And then of course, word form, you even write out the 10, so 10 billion, okay? So those are just some of the nuggets that we're gonna be covering tomorrow in class. So um, take your notes and be prepared and make sure that you know the difference between these different forms and how we, uh, the different notations for numbers.